crucial part of the season for you guys with the last two games. How are you going to turn things around for this week? Uh, this week, we just got to come in with a different mindset. We got to learn from the few games we played and learn how to get better, especially in the rebound category. Uh, with Zed down, I feel like he's a big part of our, our whole game plan, so we got to figure a way how to be successful without him for, you know, until he gets back. In the last game, you had some really big shots at the end. Are you starting to get that confidence, get that rhythm kind of at this point in the season? Most definitely. I had to talk with Coach Duva and Coach Holt. Uh, I feel like they, they have helped me prepare my confidence. You know, I feel like right now it's probably at an all-time high. So, like, I feel really comfortable going so far, like, along the season. I can't wait, you know, for, for the games. Sorry, do we need to catch up? Um, when did you have that talk with them? Uh, we had the talk right around New Year's. So, right around, that's when they were, like, hey, they just put me aside and make sure, like, my mental was good. Like, making sure that, like, they knew, like, for the next coming games I was going to, like, achieve more minutes and what they expected out of me. Basically, just to be, like, an aggressive long ball, two-way player. You know, try to make that my role uh, for the team. So I um, feel like I've been pretty much successful. I know they've used the, they used the phrase during the preseason about normalizing struggle for, for especially for the freshmen in this mm -hmm. team. Um, what is that like doing that now compared to like maybe in the preseason when you know, you're going to go through ups and downs in practice? We're all not going to see that. When as a team you're going through ups and downs now when it's all on national TV. How is that different dealing with struggles that like as a team and individually you probably haven't dealt with before? Uh, it's definitely different because like. Because social media plays such a big aspect of it, but I think we just really got to stay together, you know, in one locker room with all the players and staff. I think we all just need to stay together and, you know, not go on our own separate agendas. We need to stay together and, you know, grind the rest of the season out. You talked, you said social media can impact. Is that just reaction from fans, that kind of stuff? It can be like reaction from fans, you yeah. know, social media puts everybody on, on blast. I'm pretty sure like everybody's human, like they're gonna look yeah, at it and see yeah. it and then have some sort of reaction to it. So I feel like, you know, we gotta try to do our best to, you know, minimize as much as that in our own personal agendas and, you know, do as best we can. Can you get rid of your phone? You can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> we've heard that from other athletes. I mean that kind of stuff can get in your head, right? Yeah. So it's better to I don't know, what can you do? Right. It's best to just like, you know, look for the team's per like goals and what we would like to be, you know, in the future. Roddy, you talked about staying together. What have you guys said to Felix during this time when he needs to step up? Uh, we usually, like he's a freshman, like he's only 18 years old. Like, so you really can't like get on him too much. Like we try to give him as much love and caring as possible. We try to like joke about him, joke on him about it, like which you can't like. Like me personally, like I don't, I don't try to, you know, like you need to do this, you need to do this, I try to like, like help him along the way, you know, because it's all just a learning process for him right now. Coach Holman talked about maybe help him get in better position, whether that's if he's got one foul left or whatever, for the perimeter players to set him up in a better position. How much has that been discussed this week? It's been discussed a lot because, like, sometimes we, like, us as guards, like, we guilty where we might be out of position and we, you know, the guard got a, got a straight line drive to the basket and we rely on Felix to, you know, hit her or like wall him up at the rim. And sometimes, you know, fouls don't go our way. So unfortunately, he, he was in foul trouble pretty early. So, I mean, it's just something we all gotta, we all gotta learn. With, with Zed being a captain and the leader for this team, has he given you guys any like any message, you know, about, you know, playing without him and stuff like that during the stretch? Uh, we only played one game so far. I mean, we had a few practices without him. So I would say like on the bench and during practice and stuff, he does a good job of like, you know, still being impactful whether it's with his voice or, you know, just teaching Felix as well as everybody else that like, don't really, haven't been in this situation before. When you talk with coaches and, and they say things like they're gonna need more minutes out of you, I assume that's a positive in your mind, right? You know, you wanna have a bigger role with this team, right? Yeah, most definitely. Like, I just wanna like, you know, feel like just to have like a big impact on the game. So and, like, that's when he told me, you know, defensively is gonna be where, you know, I'm gonna have to, you know, bring it. So. I really enabled that role and try to like make my game felt like make my game known. How do you feel like that side of the game has come through throughout the whole season? Just your evolution there. I feel like uh, this has been a progress for me. Like uh, like especially guarding these older guards. Learn you've been learning like a lot more stuff. I think I think it has been an amazing experience for me. You know just to, just to build my game up more. Roddy, as a team, you know, when you guys get into like late game situations, you, know, you guys have been through some of that stuff in high school and you played at some really high levels where you had to make plays in crucial situations. How is that different at this level compared to what you had to do at high school? 
uh, at this level, there's probably 20,000 or more players, people looking at you, staring at you in the arena. <laughs> so I feel like just the pressure of everybody, like the gym gets loud. You really can't hear what coach is trying to call out. But like just that togetherness I was, I was just saying earlier, where we all, you know, are filled together. It just kind of makes you feel comfortable, you know, with what we worked on. Where do you think, um, where is this team from a connected standpoint? I mean, with four freshmen playing as much as they are and you guys all playing in some of these crucial moments, like where do you think you guys are as far as staying connected when things get tough and if you do take a loss or two? I mean, like I said, this is a learning experience, especially for us freshmen. Uh, I just feel like we're, we're getting a lot better than we were. So like we've been in these situations a few times before, so I feel like it's, it's a progression. So we have been getting a lot better. Roddy, what does Ice bring to the locker room and how different was it um, like now with him back uh, versus when he was gone? Uh, most definitely we are a different team without Ice. Like he just brings so much leadership, charisma, energy to the team. Like there's sometimes where, you know, we all hang our heads, but he always is the one that gives us the energy to keep you know, fighting, keep fighting, but like this role is like imaginable, like there's no replacing it. How's he been a leader in your eyes, just kind of helping you out in your transition? In my eyes, like he's just like, you know, I give thanks to him a lot, because it's like he always told me to maximize the things that I have. Like if it's going in the game for five, 10, 15 minutes, go make that the most impactful time that you, that you have. So like just being around him and hearing him talk about different defensive stuff that I can improve on, like this is Brady, you touched on it, kind of being a learning experience for you so far, you know, 15 games in, but what would you say is probably the biggest lesson you've taken from, you know, your time here so far? The biggest lesson I would say is uh, to be where your feet are. Coach Holt, um went over that during the season this summer, but like, you know, I never really, like, really grasped it until, like, now where it's like, don't think about, you know, games ahead or plays behind. You need, you need to be where your feet are, that possession, that play. Is it hard to do that at times, or do you like you're so, you, you ever feel yourself catching yourself maybe I'm looking too far ahead? Uh, I wouldn't say looking too far ahead, but more behind. Like, say I miss a shot, I'm thinking, all right, I think I missed a shot, and that may affect my next play, whether it's defense or offensive. So I feel like throughout the season, I've been a lot better. Is it wild to think you're halfway through the regular season, your freshman year? It's, it's wild. Like, I just feel like yesterday we were, you know, having scrimmages against Chaminade. So, like, I feel like it all has been really fast, but you know it's been a great experience, honestly, with the team I have. I mean, I love these guys. Where, where do you think? What, what, what could the second half of the season hold for you guys? I think uh, we have a chance to shock the world. Honestly, people think like we don't have enough, you know, strength to win out through a, like late game. So I think that's a, that's a part in our game where we can, you know, change the, our our total aspect. Right, uh, speaking a little bit to the defense and really bigger picture rebounding and whatnot with Felix down there in the post and whatnot, and you mentioned being a defensive player. How much of an emphasis has been put on rebounding? I believe uh, Coach Holman mentioned that in the preseason, just <laughs> in practice, how much of an emphasis is rebounding, and especially with Felix down there a little bit more? Definitely. Uh, rebounding is one of our main main focuses and practices. Uh, we usually do lots of rebounding drills, but like, you know, we got to go help Felix. There's like no excuses for that. Like, you know, we have a seven footer under the rim and we can't rely on him to catch, you know, 40 rebounds a game. We got to go in there and help him. I take responsibility for that just like, because the guard on Maryland had, you know, 12, 13 rebounds and that's just unacceptable. So I feel like we just got to be better with uh, rebounding defensively, most definitely. What, what have you seen looking at Minnesota? Uh, we haven't really looked into Minnesota yet, but we will do that in today's practices. Uh, the record hasn't really shown much, but you know you really can't sleep on any teams in the Big Ten. Like if you do, you will totally regret it. So this is um, going to be great for us, honestly, just to get, you know get a, a win or a good game under our belt. We were talking about your defense a moment ago. It seems like your offense has maybe uh, you've started to, to come into its own a little bit. Where do you where do you continue to grow at that end? Where do you think you're able to start starting to be able to do uh, on the offensive end? Uh, it's just really my confidence, in my opinion. Like, you know, me and Deaver work work on different jump shots, coming off of pause screen situations. So, like, just my confidence in doing yeah. so, um, I've been very much better.